Little baby wanna know where to be at Drop the low and I told him he meet up I'm a trap nigga, some shit I re -will. I made the light right now, I'm about to beat up Rose, would you take the half a million dollars Or the dinner with Jay-Z? I'ma take the dinner and I'ma tell you why In 08, before I turned in my second album I had a meeting with Hov We went to lunch Philippe Child, Manhattan the chicken, the orange chicken on the stick with the peanut sauce was the vibe at the time. Let me cut through all the conversation. He said, Rose, verses writing to every beat you like, write to every record you can make work. He told me a quick story about Big Pimpin'. I said, okay, bet. So I went from writing one record to every 80 beats I like to writing 40 records out of every 80 beats I could make work. It took me to another level as a writer, another level as an artist. The amount of work I was putting out was next level. So you gotta ask yourself, are you ready to digest the knowledge or you just wanna look at this watch at the table? Yo, welcome back to Hot Thoughts TV. Pico checking in again with another news update. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to the channel before we get started. So, this trending question has made its way to headlines again for about the fourth year in a row. For those of you that are deaf, blind, or living under a rock, the question is, would you rather go to dinner with Jay-Z or take $500,000 cash? Now, where it seems like it's a pretty easy, straightforward answer, it's been raising many eyebrows because a lot of niggas have a lot of different answers and perspectives. Let's hear what Jay-Z had to say about the question his damn self. Interesting online, Jay. I'd love to hear what you think about this. If you had a choice between getting paid $500,000 in cash or lunch with Jay-Z, yeah. which would you choose? You gotta, take, you gotta take the money. What, you gonna, what I'm gonna say? Yeah, you know I mean, everything now I'm gonna say, no, everything? No, only because people say, of course you take, you take lunch with Jay-Z because the wisdom that you would get from him would, would be so uh, beneficial to you there would yeah. only be a matter. You but, would take the money. Yeah, because you, you got the you got all that in the music for for ten ninety nine. That's a that's a bad deal. I would I wouldn't tell you to cut a bad deal. Like I don't take know. the five hundred thousand, go buy some albums and listen to the albums. <laughs> it's all there. If, if you, okay. you if you piece it together and really listen to the music for the words for what it is, it's all there. Everything that I said was gonna happen, happen. Everything that I said I wanted to do, I've done. And there's the blueprint. The blueprint, literally, to me and my life. So, for all you crazy dumbass niggas out there that act like y'all got some profound knowledge and some profound explanation as to why you wouldn't take the money, the nigga himself is telling you that he would take the money over having the lunch, dinner with himself, nigga. Rick Ross, I'm not gonna lie, cool, you used a good example, but to combat your example, my nigga, not everybody rap. Not everybody writing verses. Not everybody is selecting beats, my nigga. So you can't tell a nigga that ain't rapping, yeah, bro, you need to go sit down with Jay-Z. Granted, this whole situation is fucked because Jay-Z don't want to sit down and eat dinner with none of you niggas that's watching this. If he did, you would know. You would have got that call by now to make it to the motherfucking dinner reservation, nigga. All I'm saying is I feel like certain people put Jay-Z too high on a pedestal. Yeah, he got Beyonce. Everybody wanted Beyonce at one point. Nigga, he got her. Yeah, he's a black billionaire. We honor and respect that. But Jay-Z is not the end all be all. Niggas look to him like he God, my nigga. And I don't understand it because, you know, as a nigga who allegedly sold crack back in the day, how can you give game or give advice to somebody who hasn't sold crack, who doesn't want to sell crack, who doesn't want to rap? I'm sure he's rubbed shoulders with a lot of other wealthy people where he can give games in maybe every aspect of life. But when it come down to it, any nigga that's gonna take a dinner over a motherfucking briefcase full of money, nigga, $500,000 cash, isn't programmed right in the brain. It ain't shit a nigga can tell me at that dinner table that that $500,000 can't tell me, nigga. Fuck what he talking about, nigga. If it really came down to it, my nigga, I'm gonna go ahead and take that money and tell Jay-Z, nigga, fuck you. Here's my Zell information. A lot of niggas wanna sound wise and sound prolific and sound like they really got some shit to explain and some game to offer. My nigga, there is nothing to talk about in that situation. This is the most unrealistic, hypothetical situation that I don't even know where the fuck this question come from, but it's a stupid question. It's too many what ifs to even consider taking the dinner, my nigga. Where is the dinner gonna be at? 
Is this Jay-Z's favorite restaurant? Is Jay-Z in a good mood? Hell, am I in a good mood? Do I got my questions together? Is it gonna be a silent dinner? Is Beyonce gonna be there? All of these are questions that a nigga have to know before we just voluntarily turn down $500,000 to go sit with a nigga who might not even be hungry. All I'm saying is, yeah, y'all niggas on this internet with this hypothetical ass make-believe ass situation need to wake y'all ass up. A lot of you niggas are not Rick Ross, y'all are not Jay-Z, y'all are not Kanye West. You niggas are regular American citizens or wherever the fuck you live. If you don't take that motherfucking money in this fucked up ass economy and say the hell with Jay-Z, your brain's wired wrong. Let me know what y'all think about this down below in the comments. Are you gonna take the dinner or are you gonna take the money? Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Pico signing out.